Hey guys, it's our new video and today we're gonna speak about what is the agile programming methodology. Whether you are applying for programming jobs or you want a more efficient way of working, you will need to know about agile. Curious about agile approach to software development. It's a popular methodology in many modern work environments. We will cover the Agile methodology in an easy-to-understand format and explain the advantages and disadvantages. What is Agile programming? Agile is the name for an approach to project management that is designed to be more flexible and more communication-based than traditional approaches. Uh, it involves working on individual iterations in which the development team focuses on a few small Agile goals. Regular meetings happen with users and other stakeholders to get feedbacks and reflect to that new goals can be developed and refined. The agile matter uh, adheres uh, to the 12 principles listed in the Agile Manifesto. Agile development teams are typically small, each with its own iterative focus on producing a working product that may be contributed to a larger project. So what does Agile mean for a programmer? It typically means coding with the specific goals in mind rather than one monumental goal for your software. It also means you will spend a lot of time uh, listening to product owners and basing decisions on what they say rather than what you might want to do. As a programmer, you might already be familiar with Jira and how it iterates the Agile method into backtracking. You can apply the framework to many work processes, however, it's up to you to judge if uh, Agile is right for you. Yeah, it's just up to you. Mm -hmm. It's just up to you. So, as a programmer, you might already be familiar, like I've already mentioned with Jila, and it's up to you just to choose. Pros of the Agila frameworks. Less planning, the Agila process doesn't require much planning on the front end because the team expects requirements to change and reacts as those changes happen. This will save you time in the long run. Flexible goals. Since an ultimate goal is not known from the outset, your project could potentially go in any direction. You are likely to enter new territory as a programmer, sharpening and diversifying your skills. Faster results. Because you are not trying to take a large number of tasks at all times, you are free to focus in on the current iterative, which means you will deliver a quality product faster. Team iterations. Agile promotes frequent communication and iterations between all members of your team, so you are never on your own in the Agile process. In a field often full of lone wolves, the Agile's approach to programming is a little more social. Giving customers a voice. Since feedback from customers is built in the Agile approach, you can be sure your work is actually having an impact on the user, and you will hear about that from them. Uh, cons on the Agile framework. A clear vision. Since Agile is not flexible, it can be hard to explain to someone what your project ultimately has to do. It might seem uh, confusing from the outside. Variable outcomes, even if you do have an idea of what your Agile product hopes to accomplish, that doesn't mean it won't change midway through the process. You have got to prepare to adapt. Uh, potential unbalanced teams. Agile teams are often exceptionally small, so all members need to be versatile and ready to adapt their skills to whatever direction the project goes in. Putting together a team like that can be a challenge. 
Well, there's a little documentation. As a programmer, you know how important documentation is. The Agile Manifesto, however, prioritizes customer satisfaction over through documentation. In a pinch, them some valuable documents might be uh, lost. The Agile Scrum. When learning about different approaches to software development, you might be confused as Agile can sound similar to the Scrum approach. In truth, while the Scrum methodology is derived from Agile, Scrum has a more defined structure and some uh, differing values. If you compare Agile with other approaches, you will see the difference for yourself. Is Agile programming the best approach? There isn't a certain approach that's always preferable. The truth depends on your projects, the people involved, and the environment you're operating in. The ideal approach might only be best if you have a small group of developers with diverse skills and where communication with stakeholders is easy and free-flowing. Learning Agile Programming Being informed on what to expect in an Agile environment you should know at the point where you might fit into an Agile project or if it's right for your software project. Uh, since tech changes constantly, programmers should, of course, have a lifelong learning approach to coding. Like, you should study coding more wisely, study it more, longer, and better, so that you understand all the concepts and you will be a pro in it. I suppose it's easy to understand, yeah? I suppose it's doubtless. So, having fun with programming is a great way to learn, and there are tons of unique resources out there for sharpening your skills. So, you can simply sharpen your skills in your own in programming in case, of course, you want. Here's the written uh, Jordan is a former staff writer at Miro who is passionate about making Linux accessible and stress-free for everyone. He also writes guides on privacy and productivity. Uh, be respectful to others, trolling, hating, personal attacks, impersonating stuff or spam will lead to ban without notice. So, please, uh, like recall all uh, I was telling to you so that you can understand better and you can see this video one more again and after that I suppose you will understand what I was telling, uh, telling to you uh, about the Agile, Agile type of programming and whether it is appropriate for you or not but I suppose it's a good one uh, option for everyone. So guys uh, that was all I wanted to tell you, and uh, the only thing I would like to add is that there are a lot of pros of Agile, and there is less cons, so that Agile is a good option, as it don't has a lot of uh, drawbacks. So guys, I'm waiting for your likes, likes, subscribing to my channel, and writing back in comments whether you like what we are doing or not. So that was all for today. Bye.